you feel you need to be in all the videos? Are you good? Are you bad? Okay. As you can see, I have helpers with everything I do. Uh, this video is part two on how to build a sawmill. Thank you. And we're going to cover what it took to build the log deck. So stay tuned and we'll bring you along. Wait. Take a hug. Well, that's mine. Give me my stick back. So the log deck is 20 feet long. There's five ribs of two inch by six inch channel, uh, which are quite sturdy. And if I were to make an improvement, like I've made this so that I can add sections down the road. The trouble is I just gotta make the sections. So right now, the way the carriage is built, I'm limited to about 16 foot six or log length and that's max that I can mill on a 20 foot deck so it would be nice to be able to mill some longer lengths uh, whether it be ridge beams or rafters or whatever but uh, anything I build right now I can make design those lengths into it and it's not a problem. It's typically not going to mill much more than 16 feet. So, so I was going to make the back rests for the logs on one common rail that could be flipped up and down. Uh, but I ended up going this way, which isn't too bad. I've got pockets that are welded to the side and uh, just one plate across the bottom because I didn't want them to retain any water if uh, I have the mill in an uncovered area so just to help with corrosion that kind of thing and then I made it so that the little log dogs on the back stops line up uh, the same with the edge of the backrest. So, as you can see there, right in line with the edge. Um, these are obviously removable. Uh, one thing that I did do, you probably can't see, is I welded little buttons like pretty much tack welds on the inside on one side and then filed them smooth to take up any of the slop that's in the fitment for the two inch piece and the socket that's welded to the rib is two and a half inch receiver tubing the stuff's expensive but it's worth it because the receiver tubing has the weld that's uh, been filed or ground out from the inside so you don't have that weld catching on uh, your pieces. So one oversight I had with the backrests is I made the face that the log meets right in line with the edge of my uh, blade guides. So it's not exactly close, like I did give myself a little bit of room, but uh, in hindsight I would have given myself 
probably an inch there instead of uh, half inch but pretty easy to deal with the feet are uh, two inch HSS tubing welded to the inside of the frame and then I just put a cap on top help with rain and corrosion that kind of thing and then uh, welded a nut under the bottom for three quarter inch threaded rod and then I made a pad with a nut welded onto the bottom of that and a jam nut so I can adjust my height and there's eight feet total on the entire log deck so there isn't a whole lot of adjustment but if you get it into one place it uh, works pretty well I've got four different receivers for log dogs and then five ribs so the um, I think there's about a six foot spacing between feet and it actually it works out fairly well I wasn't sure if there was going to be too much flex in the log deck but uh, there is some if I'm not paying attention and keeping my feet from moving like I've had the center settle and didn't really notice and then I've got hourglass shaped timbers which is not really ideal so you keep on top of that which I'm sure is the same case with any mill and uh, you got no problem the main supports or main uh, rails are two by four rec tube with inch and a half angle iron uh, welded to the top. So I haven't put any stops at the end of my uh, rails to prevent the carriage from coming off, but as long as you're paying attention, you don't run it off the end, you got no problems. So not saying it won't happen, but it uh, hasn't happened yet. So hopefully we keep it that way. enjoyed that uh, short video on the log deck that I made um, let me know if you've had similar issues or complications for uh, design and what you've done to remedy them I'd like to know um, yeah we get another video coming up it'll be focused on the carriage itself so I don't know if I'll split that into two or not but uh, it might end up being a little longer, obviously, a lot more component, but I plan on bringing you through the whole thing, and if there's anything I missed, feel free, leave a comment below, uh, I'd be happy to share with you, and yeah, thanks for coming along, we'll see you on the next one. That's all I've got to say about that. Wait, have you subscribed yet? Try it out, see what happens. Some call it sawdust, others man glitter. <laughs>